Now that we have seen the theory part of PG stat statements, let us go ahead and do a demo. In the demo, we're going to configure PG stat statements. Once that is done, we need to run the queries that we discussed. Okay. To begin with, I'm running this select star from PG stat statements. As you see, it says it doesn't exist. As we discussed in the theory part, we need to configure PG stat statements. The first thing is to install the contrib if it's not installed, and then modify the Postgres conf to include these, and then create the extension. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do is check and see if we have the contrib package. Okay, let's check that. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Now, as you can see, we already have the contrib. So we don't need to run the yum install or reinstall the contrib. We are good there. So the next thing we need to do is basically enable this parameter. Let's go ahead and do that, okay? I'm going to add this to the config file. Let me do that. Okay. And this. And this here, real time. Now, I'm adding it. I'm adding this to the config file. You can actually add it to a particular block if you want. And you can just name it PG stat statements config. Or you can use whatever block you want. Okay. Let's type that in. The statement config. Okay. And remember, you can use whatever block you want. Because if you don't put a comment out, there in the future, you may not remember why you made this config chain. So it's always good to have commenting in Postgres config file so that you will know why you actually created that config change earlier. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy and paste this. As you can see, we are putting the query size as 4096 and to track all PG stat statements. And then we're going to save this. Okay. Once it's saved, obviously we need to restart Postgres, right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Get the right information here. Now, just trying to get the restart command from the history. So just do a system CTL stop followed by the start, or you can just do a restart. In this case, I'm just going to stop and start and hopefully after restarting, we will be able to query the PG stat statements. Fingers crossed. You will see the stop is done. Now I'm going to start it back. It looks like the restart is actually the restart is actually done. See you in the next video. Take care.